grilled steak street tacos with jalapeno and avocado cream and grilled onions. Bitches. And I mean that in the most loving way possible. Yes, we love the idea of a, of a steak taco. We love one with a little spicy avocado cream over it. Grilled onions are gonna make it even better and we're gonna do something that I saw in Mexico when I was there a month or so ago with the tortillas on the grill before we put the stuff in them that for me was such a simple but amazing little lesson in how to make shit so much better. There you go, I've said it. And that's a tease that should keep you until we get to the building part, or at least the tortilla on the grill part. We're gonna start by seasoning our steak. Then we make our little avocado crema thing. I'm going old school. I'm using a mortar and pestle. And then uh, we're close, real close. Oh, onion first. That's got to get because it'll take a little bit. This is an onion. Nope, it's a couple bits of random onion. Look, if you had a perfectly round onion and you cut like a half inch beautiful circle out of the middle, you could grill that. It's probably gonna come apart, but you could. But what do you do if you just have random stuff? I'm not throwing this giant piece on, so let me show you. I'm gonna take, cut like this. Now I'm gonna use this little, what's this called? This little stainless basket with holes, and the beautiful part of the holes is the flames and the heat come through. These pieces will go on here now. Nothing's gonna fall through. I'm gonna take it over the grill, throw a little oil on it, and then leave it. And over the next 10, 15 minutes, this will become amazing. Like that. And now just a little oil. If you wanna turn it, turn it. Give it a tiny bit more. Say adios. We're gonna come back to you in a little bit, baby. But for now, we got other stuff to do. Oh, and by the way, while we're here, look over here. I tell you that a grill is just a stove in an oven that's outside. I'm heating up refried beans for an important part of this. All right, off to our steak. Do you remember way back when we dry aged our own ribeyes? Well, here's a little one that we still had. Took it out of the freezer, defrosted it, and this is what we're gonna use. So you can put all kinds of stuff on it. I'm going to use, out of the new Sam the Cooking Guy and the Holy Grill, page 20, the all-purpose rub. There's coarse black pepper, there's garlic powder, there's paprika, cumin, onion powder, crushed red pepper, all mixed up, and it looks like this. Beautiful. And all-purpose means you can use it for everything. So the steak will get just a little oil, both sides, to help this stuff stick, and we season. And look, the earlier you do this, the more time the seasoning has to start to make a difference on the steak. So I say, if you wanna do this in the morning, you'd be fine to stick it in the fridge. We'll just give it a little bit of time right now while we make our avocado crema next. But this is gonna be good to go and will be delicious. Stand by for the crema. That is the mortar and pestle. That's the mortar. That's the pestle part. You can remember because pestle starts with P and so does penis. Max told me to say that. All right, first thing in, a couple of cloves of garlic. And we're gonna mash those up. But what's gonna help us mash those up will be some kosher salt. And we do this. Great. Let me throw in some cilantro leaves. Same thing. Fabulous. This is an avocado. Should be obvious. Let's see how it looks inside. I pride myself on being able to pick nicely ripe avocados. So, feels good. Sometimes you're surprised, but not this time. Beautiful. And this will put in. We'll just break it up inside here a bit. By the way, what do you call this? Avocado flesh? Avocado meat? Boys? I think I just call it the avocado. Yeah, same here. Well, sometimes I feel, I don't know. All I know is when I read meat, I get grossed out. Just let me show you this. Onions, this is what you want. Cooking away nicely. Nothing's falling through. Love you, onions. All right, you go back, let me finish. I need juice of half a lime. Oh, and that one worked. I need some sour cream, and I need some canned chopped jalapenos. Let's start with about a tablespoon and a half and see how it is. And this, I think now, salt and pepper. Still a little chunky and beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Mm, oh my gosh, a little bit more jalapeno, and then we're good to go. Next up, steak time. All right, we're ready for the steak, but look here, my onions. Those are beautiful. I'm not trying to caramelize them, I'm just trying to char them up, and those are perfect. I can leave them here on low, my beans. Yeah, soft and beautiful also on low. And now it's time for the steak. And on we go. That's it. I've said it before, if you can hold your hand above the heat uh, two inches away for more than a couple seconds, it's not hot enough. You want the heat. We're gonna cook this as I always do. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Gonna pull it somewhere around 130, 132 or three. Slice it, get ready for the onion. Oh, it's gonna be great. So just sit back, watch this cook. There's really nothing to talk about other than the fact that it's cooking. Let's have a look. Sweet, little 45. Another couple minutes, we'll flip to the other side. Okay, I'm flipping it and over we go. 
gorgeous. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. So you know what to do. We've done it many times. Just keep turning and flipping. You want to be as even as you can. And when you get it to, you know, 130, 132 or so, use an instant read digital thermometer because you'll know exactly, then pull it off. There we are. All right, here's the move. Little corn tortillas, street size. I've just warmed them on the grill to make them a little bit more pliable. Now we'll do this. We're gonna put a little of the warm refried beans inside each one. Wait for it. When I saw them doing this, I fell in love. We were having it with fish, but it's all fantastic. So just give it a little spread. And now these guys get folded gently. You don't wanna rip them like this, like this, like this. I'm gonna give them a light brush of oil just to promote browning. Promote browning, God. Who am I, Betty Crocker? And now we go to the grill and on. To infinity and beyond. And a baby touch of oil for when we flip them. We're trying to get them a little charred and a little crispy. Won't take long. In the meantime, we can cut the steak. And here we go, steak time. Let's cut against the grain. There we go, see, it's very nice when you're confident in your steak skills. And I'm saying that because I wasn't. I thought I really effed it up. I think I overcooked it. Fucking overcooked it. Oh no, I did this time. Perfect medium rare for me. If you like it done more. Hey bud, hey Chuckles, you do it more. It's just what you, whatever you want. Oh, I can smell the dry aging on this. Couple smaller pieces. Next up, onion. Same here, steak, onion, white. And here we come. And now, it's simple. You open them up, goodness gracious. I put a little onion on the bottom, a little steak. Oh, for goodness sake. Remember this business? Right there. I'm telling you, it was an eye-opening moment for me. Oh, the charred onion. God. Done. Let's grab this guy. Which guy? This guy. I want him. Why? I don't know, I just, because it, it looked like it wouldn't be too, too messy to eat. A baby taco deserves a baby hit of lime juice. And then. A baby. And then a big boy bite. Mm. Oh boy. It's like a three biter. Mm. I could eat a thousand of them. Look, you could use the bigger corn tortillas. There is something nice about this little format though. It's like perfect. It's cocktail party size. Cook the steak earlier in the day. Got the hot tortilla, got the hot refried beans, the steak can go in room temperature, the salsa crema can go in, the onions will all be fine. You don't have to do this last minute, but you have to do it. Hit the subscribe button, give us a like, tell us below what you want to see us make. You see, see, check out some of our other taco videos while you're at it. Oh, if you just go to the top of our page and put in taco, I think you'll be blown away by how many things will show up. And answer this question in the comments, please. What do you call the inside of an avocado? Avocado? Meat? Flesh? Oh, shit.